two weeks ago, one of my former colleagues, Dr. Harold Booth, sadly died. He was quite old, nearly 86, so he retired almost 20 years ago. But unlike many people that retire, he had remained involved with our School of Chemistry and the, we, I saw him really quite regularly. I think it's important for you to understand that when I started working at universities, they didn't have training to courses to tell people how to teach. I was given almost no instruction at all, just a couple of days and then put in front of students. And so I and many of my colleagues who were in a similar position relied on people like Harold to help us, to teach us how to teach. Harold had been at Nottingham for a really very long time. He was already a lecturer here in 1958, and I think perhaps even in the early 1950s. So he spent his whole life teaching at this university. And when I was telephoned about his death, I had somebody sitting in my office who was a student here in the early 1990s. And Paul's immediate reaction was, how sad. Harold got me through my organic chemistry finals. And over the last few days, I've had lots of emails from people who are former students saying that they remember, even from the 1960s, how much he taught and how they learned from him. Harold was a fantastic example of how to be a tutor, how to look after the undergraduates whose care he was responsible for. In fact, I once discovered that Harold had driven with the father of one of the students from Nottingham, which is in the middle of the in England, right to the south coast, because one of his two tees was thought to be suicidal. And Harold sat in the car outside the youth hostel all night to catch the student before he could come out and throw himself off a cliff. Harold's research interest was in nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, and he was the first person in the School of Chemistry who really understood NMR spectroscopy. And there are generations of organic chemists here who owe their success of their thesis to his help in unravelling the spectra. Harold was a very pleasant and kind person, not at all conceited, and always prepared to help people. He was also somebody who worked very hard, but without boasting about the fact that he was working. He was the sort of person who, when you had a problem, you could go and ask him, what should I do? And just like everything in life, when you do it for the first time, you get worried about, um, am I doing the right thing? And so just be, being reassured that there was somebody there that you could ask the advice was very important.